throughout history, there have been many locations with very dark pasts. Today, we will be diving into the dark histories behind five different locations. Before we get into it, please remember to like and subscribe to the channel so that we can continue to make videos like this one. Wittenoom was once a bustling asbestos mining town nestled in Western Australia. Established in the 1940s, this town thrived on the extraction of blue asbestos used for its fire-resistant properties. However, the disregard for the health and safety of miners led to widespread contamination with hazardous asbestos dust. The mining operations ceased in the 1960s due to the health risks, and the town was officially closed in 1966. Today, Wittenoom is an abandoned area with crumbling structures and a desolate atmosphere. The Tuol Sleng Genocide Museum, located in Cambodia, encapsulates a chilling chapter in the nation's history during the Khmer Rouge regime in 1975. Once a high school known as S21, it was transformed into a center for interrogation and torture. Thousands of innocent Cambodians were subjected to unspeakable horrors within its walls. The museum exhibits photographs of the victims, torture devices, and the austere prison cells where individuals endured unimaginable suffering. Port Arthur in Tasmania, Australia, bears the weight as one of the most notorious penal colonies in the 19th century. Established in 1830, it served as a remote and harsh prison for British convicts, where brutal discipline and inhumane treatment were the norm. The isolated location, surrounded by water and dense forests, was intended to discourage escape. The prisoners endured grueling labor, corporal punishment, and psychological torment. The echoes of suffering still resonate in the preserved structures, including the haunting Isle of the Dead where many prisoners found their final resting place. Hashima Island, also known as Battleship Island, is a small, desolate island off the coast of Nagasaki, Japan. Hashima was once a bustling coal mining community operated by Mitsubishi Corporation from 1887 to 1974. The island's unique skyline, characterized by its densely packed concrete apartment buildings, earned it the nickname Battleship Island. At its peak, Hashima housed thousands of miners and their families, creating a self-contained community. However, as coal demand dwindled, the island was abandoned, and its structures fell into disrepair. The island's eerie atmosphere and crumbling, weather-worn structures attract photographers, historians, and curious visitors who seek to uncover the secrets of this once thriving, now desolate community. Humberstone and Santa Laura Saltpeter Works, located in the Atacama Desert of Chile, bear witness to a dark chapter in the history of nitrate mining. These abandoned mining towns were once vibrant hubs for nitrate extraction, a valuable resource used in fertilizers and explosives from the late 19th to the early 20th century. The nitrate industry relied heavily on the exploitation of a vast workforce, including forced labor and the utilization of nitrate offices, which were akin to debt bondage systems. Workers faced grueling conditions with exposure to harsh climates and hazardous substances. The remnants of these industrial complexes now stand as ghost towns, silent witnesses to the suffering and exploitation of those who toiled under oppressive conditions. Did you enjoy the video? Let me know in the comments what future videos you want to see. Thank you for the support, and as always, have a wonderful rest of your day.